Hey, it's Lee, and I'm here with another Frozen Food Review. Um, this time around, it's a little bit different. Uh, this is the first uh, Swanson TV dinner. Uh, I wonder if they give it a fancier name nowadays. No, it doesn't have any kind of name. Okay. Uh, they used to be called TV dinners, weren't they? Um, first Swanson I've reviewed, certainly not the first I've ever eaten. I kind of, uh, kind of secretly like these quite a bit. Um, I know they're not the best for you and things along those lines, but I kind of dig these. these. Um, this is Salisbury steak, one of the classics. Um, and it, you'll see it's a beef steak cut with mushroom gravy, mashed potatoes, and corn. I usually hate mushrooms, but in terms of Swanson TV dinners, that mushroom gravy does not taste like mushrooms. It tastes like just salt, and that's fine with me. Um, so let's look at the specs. This is not a hungry man, so it's not quite as big. Uh, but it's 345 grams. And um, the instructions on here are interesting because usually they give you kind of weird instructions. When you get, especially with certain desserts, like when you have a brownie, which is a pretty classic Swanson dessert, uh, they're, they're like, take it out, remove it, do this, do that, do that. The instructions get a little complicated. This one's nice, nice and easy. It says, remove film from potatoes and dessert, cut slit and film over corn, and just heat it for seven minutes. Let stand for a minute and eat. Love it. Uh, I hate stirring stuff in the middle of cooking. Like, it's a TV dinner. It should be microwavable. I shouldn't have to stir stuff. Uh, I know it makes me sound lazy, and I don't care. That's just the way I feel about this. So, yeah, I look forward to giving this a try. This is the first TV dinner. Certainly not the last. I think I'm going to run through all the Swansons if I can. Um, just because, A, it is the kind of best-known brand for this kind of stuff, I find. And uh, historically, I've enjoyed them quite a bit. I, I might even try the Hungry Man versions because they do have some different aspects to them. Uh, this was purchased from the store in my in my building, so it's I didn't go too fancy with it. All right, the next time you see this, I will have it. Well, it will have heated up. It will also uh, I will also have tasted the gravy, the meat, the potato, and the corn, and even the dessert, which I hate doing out of out of order, but whatever, I have to. It's time for a review. Um, I guess we'll start with the the meat and work our way around. Uh, this this Salisbury steak patty, um, it actually seemed more meaty than it used to be. I used to eat this fairly often when I was a kid, and I, eat, I ate it fairly recently. Uh, but for some reason, I don't know why, this one tastes like it has a little bit more texture to it. And I don't mind it. That's fine. Uh, the gravy is a little less salty. Um whatever it is what it is uh, but the gravy is nice um they recommend that you put the gravy on the mashed potatoes based on the picture on the cover of the uh the box i don't like to do that necessarily i typically um cheat with these i toss a bunch of butter and everything for the sake of this test though i did take my mashed potatoes and dip them in the gravy i also had them plain um microwavable mashed potatoes are not my favorite thing but the technology <laughs> And I don't know what kind of technology it is, but the te technology has improved. Um, these potatoes are fine. They actually taste quite potato-y. I actually got a potato flavor out of them, which is kind of rare. They're fine. They go nicely with the gravy. Um, I'm probably going to cheat and add butter to them. I, I just Butter is always the cheap move, but it does make everything better. Same thing goes for the corn. Uh, the corn, out of all the elements in here, probably holds up the best to a microwave. Corn is is really hard to screw up. And in these things, they end, it always ends up tasting the freshest of all the ingredients. Uh, so the corn in here is really nice. It's sweet. It's not overly flavorful, but it's, it's nice. Uh, and this dessert, um, it's a little soupy. It's a little bit more liquid than you would expect for what it is. Um, but it's an apple cranberry kind of uh, dessert. Very pleasant, quite sweet. Um, and the apple in it is tastes nice, nice little bit of texture. Uh, I wish there were more apples and less of the kind of cranberry juice sauce on it. Uh, but I will take this most times over the brownie. Uh, the brownie requires a little too much work, and I don't find it all that special. This at least tastes like it's what it's said to be. Not that the brownie is bad. I actually don't hate the brownie. It's just... Um, this tastes fresh. It tastes, tastes a little bit more real. The texture of it is certainly more real. So overall, um, 
this is pretty darn good. I, uh, I know it's kind of one of the classic flavors uh, for these dinners. And I know that some people see this in their hearts. They just don't like, like they have bad childhood memories and things along those lines. I think a lot of those memories are based on the potatoes. I feel the potatoes used to be really terrible. And uh, if you don't cook them enough, if you, I always cook my stuff a little bit more than, than it says, because if you slightly undercook your mashed potatoes in these things, it's disgusting. So pro tip, add 30 seconds to the cooking time. Let it sit after it's cooked for the two minutes that they suggest. Um, I often used to just skip that, but it makes a difference. Uh, other pro tip, add butter. Just add butter. I know it's cheating. Add butter. But overall, um, you know, the meat, the meat is fine. The potatoes are what they are, but for microwavable potatoes, they're good as well. The corn is excellent. This dessert in particular, I like quite a bit. I'm, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and give this... I can't go too high because I know there's other Swanson TV dinners I like more. Um, I think this to me is a 7.5. I think I, I can live with that rating. I feel, again, I keep saying it, but I feel like I should have gone with decimals. But now that I'm this pot committed, I can't kind of flip back. But this to me is a 7.5 out of 10. Um, I... I'm nostalgic for this. I think there's a nostalgia bump there. It's probably realistically a seven, but I just remember having this. My parents basically had this thing where they would make certain things I hated. And I was like, can I just buy myself some TV dinners? If I have a job, can I buy myself some TV dinners? And they were fine with it. And that worked out for me. Uh, I'm much less picky nowadays, but still. All right. Thanks for watching.